For Buckeye Sports Bulletin, I'm Simone Scott, joined by Ben Axelrod, and we are here for your weekly Ohio State update. I like. I think we should get a name for this. Yeah, I know. Um, I don't have anything. We'll work on it. Next no. week, we're going to have a name. Okay. But first, before we look ahead to the future and FAMU game, we got to look back. Cal, big win, 52-34. to All eyes were on Mr. Kenny G. Kenny Guyton out there looking good. But, you know, in the back of everyone's minds, Braxton. What's going on with Braxton? On Monday, Coach Myers said that he was probable for this game, but is that still looking like the case? Well, today on his radio show, he said that's not the case. He said it's going to be a game-time decision, just like it was last week. Um, you know, I think when the MCL first happened, they thought maybe it wouldn't be as serious as MCLs usually are, but they are a pretty significant injury that knocked Carlos Hyde out of two games last year. So I think um, it's just kind of a wait-and-see thing and kind of hope he heals up. Um, and, and he said if they use him, it's going to be in a limited role. But um, I wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't expect to see him out there taking all the snaps for the Buckeyes this week. Luckily, they did have that game last week against Cal out in Berkeley. And I have to say, the Buckeye fans, they rolled deep. They represented out there. It looked mighty red. But what did we learn about this team from that win? Well, we learned if Braxton Miller doesn't play, they might be in good hands still. Kenny Guyton um, put up um, put up some big numbers, as big of numbers as Braxton put up all of last year. I mean, it was only one game, and Cal's not a great defense by any stretch of the imagination. But, um, you know, he looked good, and he was rolling, and some of those passes, it wasn't about the defense as much as it was where he was putting the ball. So um, I think we learned that Kenny Guyton is better than even we thought Kenny Guyton was. Uh, he he looks smooth out there, some smooth jazz from Kenny G. He's a smooth operator, some Sade. All right, guys, now looking ahead, week four coming up, that means that Carlos Hyde's three-game suspension is officially over. He will be back on the field. How will his presence change the look of this offense? Well, that's that's actually probably the biggest question heading into this week because Urban said that the plan was for Jordan Hall to play that H-back position and play the uh, the Percy Harvin role while Carlos Hyde's playing running back. But Jordan Hall's looked so good at running back that you can't take him out of that running back role right now. He's fifth in rushing, and I think he's second in touchdowns, maybe fourth. First, um, Jordan Hall's been incredible at running back, and he's probably the team's MVP to this point. So it'll be interesting. Carlos Hyde's going to get some snaps, but Jordan Hall's still the starter right now. All right, and they are playing Florida A&M. Now, the Rattlers, they're not the, they don't have the best record. They're 1-2 and two right now. Had a lot, bunch of losses last year. The spread opened up at 57 points. So I don't think Ohio State's really shaking in their boots. They have to be on their game. They can't look ahead to Wisconsin. But what exactly are they going to try to gain from this game? They don't. I don't think it's going to be that close. No, I, is that your expert opinion? <laughs> That's my expert opinion. It might be a blowout. I, I think you might be right. Um, I um, one, you want to get everyone healthy. You don't want any unnecessary injuries to happen in this game, especially. Two, it's kind of a tough game because you don't have a whole lot to gain, but you have a lot you could lose even in a win. You know, if it's closer than. Not 57, but, you know, if it gets into that three-score range, you know, people are going to see you, you know. What's wrong with Ohio State? Exactly, when you're winning by 28 points. But um, you need you, you need to look good. You need to put up some points. You need to stay healthy. And I'd say those are the most important things for Ohio State this week. All right, guys. Florida A&M game this Saturday at noon in the Horseshoe. It's supposed to be 70 degrees with possible showers to so go ahead and get some rain boots like I have on. You can't see them, but they're fabulous. And if you can't make it out to the Horseshoe, you check it out on btn for fox sports next and buckeye sports bulletin i'm simone scott with ben axelrod